On behalf of your Las Vegas and Denver based flight crew, I'd like to thank you for flying with United today. Hope you've had an enjoyable flight with us. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you and have a wonderful afternoon. Airport in Las Vegas, Nevada. Today I'm heading to Washington, D.C. via SFO on United Airlines 660. Join me on today's trip report and flight experience. There's our flight, United 660, departing from D51 at 9.40 this morning, and so far it's on time. With no bags to check, and from the check-in to past the TSA pre-check, it took about 10 minutes. It's not too busy yet. So to get to the D gates from here, I'll have to take the underground train. You'll head downstairs, catch the train, and it will take a couple of minutes to get to the D gates. At the top of the escalator, you'll head right. That'll take you straight to the United Gates. But if you want to visit the United Club, you'll have to turn left and follow the signs. The United Club sign will be on the right side, and you'll have to take an elevator to get upstairs where the club actually is. Let's go in and take a quick look. It's still relatively early, so the club is pretty quiet. The bar is open right now, and there are a variety of seats, tables, and a high table facing the windows. And there's a pretty decent view of the control tower and Vegas Strip in the background. There are lots of power outlets and USB ports as well. For breakfast, there is some fruit, charcuterie board with cold cuts and cheeses, pastries and cereals, and the hide items included a cheese omelet, sausage patties, and potatoes. As you can see, I definitely loaded up for breakfast. Note that the espresso maker was not working at the time, so they only had the drip coffee available. This United Club is open from 5.30 in the morning until 9 p.m. I found this United Club to be delightful. For the morning, it's not too busy and not too noisy. You can definitely load up for breakfast before your next flight. And the only problem that I saw was that the club is not next to the United Gates. However, it only takes a couple of minutes to walk over to the gates. An announcement would have been nice, but I did get a notification on my phone that the boarding was starting 40 minutes before the scheduled departure. There's our plane serving as United 660. It's a 10-year-old Boeing 737-900ER, registered November 66808. It was delivered to United November 15, 2013 and is powered by two CFMI CFM 56-7B26 engines. There are 20 first class seats and 159 economy seats on this flight. And all the seats will be taken today. For today's flight, I'll be in 24A, a window seat, and a preferred seat. These are the seats usually behind Economy Plus, and they don't offer any extra legroom, and they cost a little bit more if you choose to sit there. I can choose a seat for free on the day of departure as the Star Alliance Gold with a foreign carrier, namely Isiana. <laughs> There's the seat. There's no seat back entertainment. You can download the United app before the flight so you can stream entertainment. The regular economy seats have 30 to 31 inches of pitch and a seat width of 17.3 inches. And the seat reclines a couple of inches. The seats also have adjustable headrests. And as you saw, they gave us a blanket. On the side, yeah. with us. We'll be back with more details about today's flight once we're in the air.
beverage service for this flight, we had a choice of a snack mix or a chocolate bar. And I went with the chocolate bar. It's a good thing that I loaded up in the United Club because that's not really much of a snack in size or substance. But it tasted alright. I also went with some water for the beverages. Uh, there was only one round of beverages on this flight. I'm going to take a quick nap right now, but in the meantime, please enjoy this view of the Eastern Sierra Nevada Mountains. We'll see you soon. Let's wrap up today's trip report on United Airlines 660. First, my original flight to Dulles was going to be on a Boeing 737 MAX 9. You've already seen the pictures of the blown out exit plug on that plane, which caused the grounding of the MAX 9. United went ahead and cancelled my flight, and I ended up being able to choose some new flights. This flight and the upcoming flight on a Boeing 777-200ER were my choices. I ended up getting booked into a higher class actually, V, so I ended up getting 75% of the mileage credited to my Asiana account. Second, the United Club in Vegas is pretty decent, apart from not being next to the United Gates. An announcement would have been nice. Third, the boarding was a madhouse. I'm glad I was in group 1 because group 2's line was insanely long. Third, nothing strange or disturbing about this flight was pleasant. I've had decent experiences with United domestically the last few times I've flown them. The snack was small, sure, but that's no surprise with any of these US carriers nowadays. All that to say, let's enjoy our landing into San Francisco International Airport. Enjoy!
On behalf of your Las Vegas and Denver based flight crew, I'd like to thank you for flying with United today. Hope you've had an enjoyable flight with us. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you and have a wonderful afternoon. I'll have about a one hour 45 minute layover here at SFO. I'll head over to the Maple Leaf Lounge before heading off to my flight to Dulles. Stay tuned for that trip report. Thanks for joining me on United Airlines 660 from Vegas to San Francisco. See you next time.